noisy banging boiler my name's alan hart and today i've got a job where the customer's complaint is the boiler is noisy and it's banging and clanging they have had a company go out and do a flush on the system and try and try and clean the system so what we're going to do we're going to go out we're going to have a look what's wrong with it and possibly we're going to do a flush on this system um, we'll have a look and see what's see what's been done before, but yeah, let's go and have a look. This is an Alpha combi boiler, and it doesn't seem to. Well, it doesn't look like the system's been flushed really, um, but the customer said that they've had somebody out to it who's done a flush on it. We've just removed the filter and just had a look at the magnet inside, and as you can see on this magnet, it's got a lot of magnetite. Of that magnet and the, the the boiler is very very noisy and it's screaming so what we're going to do is we're going to flush the system out because the blockage is in the heat exchanger we're siphoning the chemicals the cleaner the f3 directly into the heat exchanger and then we're going to turn the flow off at the boiler and we're going to run the hot tap and what that will do it will put the chemicals through the plate heat exchanger and also through the main heat exchanger so just to explain what we're doing with this this has got a cementer heat exchanger which is a multi-pass heat exchanger and i'll just do a little drawing and i'll show you how that works shortly um, and it's the same heat exchanger or very similar that's in the ideal um, Vogue, um, the Baxi Platinum, the Baxi 800, all the premium boilers really. So it's a really good quality heat exchanger, but because it's multi-pass and the, the system's full of sludge, then what that means is if you get sludge, sludge in the heat exchanger, it's not one continuous coil. So like a Wiesman is one continuous coil. So if you flushed it, you would be going through the muck. But it's not like that on a multi-pass. So I'll just explain to you what a multi-pass does. Um, so if you imagine, I'll just draw it on here. So we've got us flow in. And then you've got coils in the heat exchanger. I'll just draw this on here. My, draw, my, draw, my drawing is a bit shocking, I don't even know if you can see that. But if you imagine your flow there that goes into the heat exchanger there. And then it's it tees inside and it goes around the coils in different sections. I'll show you heat exchanger um, so you can see. And then it comes out on the other side here as the return or whichever way around. But, but yeah, so that's how it joins. So... I'll show you a picture of a heat exchanger that's cut up so you can see but so what it does is if part of it blocks then the rest of it can still be heating but when the, when it's on high it can start to boil in the heat exchanger because part of it's not getting no flow around it um, yeah so what we're trying to do with this a lot of people say that if a cementer heat exchanger blocks up you you cannot clean them i've done quite a few of them to be honest and i've always managed to clean them so touch wood if we've got any i haven't got any in here but touch wood uh, touch wood um we'll better we'll better clear this one um but it, to be honest it is it is quite bad so just to recap what we're doing here we're siphoning the chemicals into the heat exchanger at the top of the heat exchanger on that top hose on the left hand side and what that's doing is it's it's putting chemicals directly into that heat exchanger we're then closing the isolation valve off underneath the boiler and then what that does is when we run the hot water it allows the cleaner just to circulate around the boiler so the chemicals are in the system now and they're flushing flushing round and we're going to leave that now we'll leave that for about about an hour or so um leave it try and until it starts to clear it 
and then once we start to get flow through and we, and we know it's working if if we get it working then what we'll do then we'll connect the power flush machine onto it and then we'll fully power flush all the system then as well um so the way the way i would do it i would put a couple of bottles of chemicals in let it flush the heat exchanger first and then open your valves underneath put the heating on let it go around the system and let it run around the system for an hour or so uh, and that's before we put the power flush machine on open up radiators in all the house and let the chemicals circulate through all the system we've then got us filter on so some of the muck will go in the filter if there's any muck in you could also connect your magna cleanse onto that if you wanted to um, but that's what we're going to do with this um, yeah let's go see if if we can get this sorted we've now connected the power flush machine onto the system as well so now that's going to flush the boiler and it's going to flush the full heating system so we've just been flushing this alpha boiler it's not been installed the best and it's system and it's sludged up and yeah it's uh, it's working great now we can also reverse the flow on the power flush machine so it pumps the water the opposite direction and that just loosens it up and gets the sludge out a little bit easier i'm just back home now um I'm just going to edit edit this video um very interesting job that so when we got there obviously the system was really really mucky um we put the chemicals in flushed it all out i have done some videos on power flushing so if you want to know more about power flushing then check them videos out and i'll show you show you the power flushing also i've done one on um like magna cleanse as well so I'll show you a magna cleanse as well so you, you can see different types of different types of flushing um, but for a for a minute or for a, for a little while to be honest I didn't I didn't um, I didn't think we were gonna sort it out it didn't seem to be clearing but eventually eventually we got it going and the hot water's working again so what were happening was as soon as you put the hot water on the boiler just went banging and clanging and banging you couldn't use you couldn't use it it would just it just you just couldn't use it it was just blocked um but yeah it's fully working now customers happy if you've got any questions on um well on, on any of my videos really just ask them in comments below i've just got a little um message for you richard were with me today so Richard's gonna tell you what what we did on this job. Um, I sort of dropped him in deep end, and I just said, "What did we do?" So have a look at what Richard's got to say. And uh, as I say, comment below. Richard's new into industry. Um, he wants a job. So if anybody's looking for somebody um, that that is training and wants to be a plumber, he's going to do his sort of whatever it's called fast track course or whatever he's done um some time doing some plumbing he's come with me now a few times doing a bit of central heating and stuff um he's done some stripping boilers down and he's done a bit of plumbing in here so he's done he's done quite a lot of quite a lot of stuff now um yeah but if anybody wants to employ him yeah help him on his way then you know please get in touch um that'd be good it'd be good if we could get get that for him um, I'll add him now on this video are you happy? Always. so what are you doing here then Richard? Uh, I'm flushing <laughs> uh, so what have you done? what have you done today? what 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 were wrong with this boiler when we came to it? and what's happening now? so first, first of all we had a problem with the boiler itself about the, the heating element within the boiler. So the um, heat exchanger was making strange noises. So, uh, no, no pressure then, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to... Um, flush it out? Flush it out, yeah. yeah. We'll flush it out through the boiler. 
for, through the heat exchanger and, um, and try and clear the problem from there and, and then move on to the whole system throughout the whole circuit. So every radiator, pushing each individual radiator. And, uh, and now we'll just set up the actual power flush from the system flush down to the power flush. So same again, we're just pushing through the whole system. Uh, it's going to be good, it's going to be nice, it's going to be a successful job. You got what else to say? Like, thanks for watching? Or? Oh, well, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> See you again. <laughs>